Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my channel, and hey, what's up, if you are new here. Hey guys, I'm starting on a new video. I am parked at a cafe, I'm about to go inside. My husband is doing some more construction in our house. He is taking down all of the doors in our basement and replacing them with our new ones. And it's just loud, and I didn't realize how much that like impacts me or like overstimulates me and I tried sitting outside for a little bit, but the heat and I don't know, it was just uncomfortable. So I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go to a cafe, coffee shop, just do a little like reflecting, planning, anything I would be doing like in my home office, I'm just gonna go do it here at this cafe because I, yeah, I just wanted to step away for a little bit. So I'm here now, I'm gonna go in and like I said, just do some planning, work on my laptop. I brought my new lesson book. If you didn't know, I am a special education teacher. The school year is going to start up in about a month and I had just have like a handful of like dates I need to get written down, some deadlines that I already am aware of. I just want to start planning. I'm just a super, I like to plan ahead and just get organized. So I'm going to work a little bit on that. Not too much though. Definitely not going to overdo it. Just enough to feel a little bit prepared so that I can kind of just sit back and take in the rest of the summer and just really enjoy it. So I brought my lesson book, I brought my um, personal planner, I brought my laptop, I brought like all the pens and highlighters and post-it notes that I could even ever need. The big thing will be if I can get a good table here, I think this is a good spot to just be able to sit. I think there should be a handful of spots open. I won't know until I get in there though, of course. Um, it's about 11.15 on a Tuesday. I'm planning on getting coffee and I'm probably gonna get a little like snack too. That sounds good. Happy August. It is August 1st. Now that it is a new month, I do like to reflect a little bit back on the previous month and then just get a new plan for the next month moving forward and really just honing in on some of the little, like some of my habits that I've developed and if they're helpful habits or not helpful or unhelpful. So I think a lot of it has to do with like content consumption and just being on my phone and the screen time usually is what I end up needing to kind of like hone in on because it gets out of control you guys. It's so easy to just sit and for me lately it has been like the Instagram and even going on Facebook which I don't even like use a lot. I just it's nice to keep up with like friends and f some family that you know you don't talk to like super often. I like using it for that but as far as posting I feel like I'm not like interacting on there a whole lot and especially Instagram that has been just bad or I've just been overusing it so I actually this weekend I just deleted the apps off my phone and honestly if you're in the same boat as me just try it because I was just without even thinking like just sc like scroll tap or like swipe and tap on the app. It was so easy to do and I was just like mindlessly doing it. So I'm like, I am deleting these apps. And then I've had it in place where I just go on my app or I go on Facebook or uh, Instagram over like on the weekends, I'll kind of like let myself, but just to help set myself up for a little more success, I decided to just delete the apps just for my own, my own well-being. So enough of that. I just wanted to say hi. I'm going to head inside, get my coffee, get to planning, um, hang out a little bit. And I just realized there's an office depot really close to here and I might just walk around. There might be a couple of things that I'm going to grab for like my teaching space, but there's really nothing I need going into this year. Um, usually from year to year, I end up purchasing my lesson book and yeah, but I'm pretty stocked up on all the materials that I use on a regular basis. So I might, maybe I'll stop in there, shop around and see if there's anything, um, if they have certain things. There are a couple of things I do know, um, that I have been looking out for. So maybe those will be here, be there. And that would be cool, you know? All right. I am going to head in. Probably won't check in until after because honestly, there's probably there's probably no way I'd film inside, but you never know. Maybe I'll be feeling brave today. All right, guys. Happy August. I hope you're doing well. Um, let's get some work done.
Okay guys, checking back in like I said I would. I think I got a couple clips it's just working. Working at the cafe, I made a stop by Office Depot. That was dangerous, oh my gosh. And then I went to Jersey Mike's, Jersey Mike's, which was actually really good. I've never been there. There's not many in the area, I don't think. And it's like, I've only known, I've only ever known like Subway or Jimmy John's for, for subs or whatever. Hang on, there's someone, someone who just pulled up right next to me. I let them get out of their vehicle. But yeah, so, okay, so they left. I'm still not used to that. Just like filming whenever, wherever. Wherever, whenever, we're meant to be together. Okay, part of the reason I came out or just wanted a separate place to work, I wanted to figure out like a better budget. That was one of the things I'm reflecting on for the month of July, moving into August, my budget needs to get like fine tuned. Cause I spend so frivolous, frivolously, frivolously, I don't think that's the word. I've just been not on top of it as far as like sticking to any kind of budget. So moving forward to the next month, that's something I really wanna hone in on, but I think I already, talked about that but I, I think that has to do with like the habits or the bad habits that I've maybe it's part of the I think bad habits that I've just picked up on just like overspending and just making random purchases um and then I just want to be more intentional about what I'm spending I think I was talking about Jersey Mike's and how I had never been it was really good I thought it was really yummy I only know Jimmy John's and Subway and it's not somewhere that I'm like ooh, I'm, I could go for a good sub it's not somewhere that i would typically go out of my way to go to but there's one conveniently located near here that i was able to anyway so it was good i will say and maybe it's just the type of customer service maybe they were just being funny but i felt so uncomfortable and it's probably just a personal thing too like they were like cracking jokes and i'm like uh, uh, and I had never been there, so I'm like, hey, like, first time here, I just need some time to, like, figure out what I want. I chose what kind of bread, and then they, like, chose the sandwich for me. I don't know. It was really confusing. I was kind of overwhelmed. I'm like, okay, get me out of here. Like, my social anxiety kicked in. I'm like, okay, sounds great. <laughs> Gotta go. It was really good. I sat outside, and it's, like, hot. I wanted to show you quick what I picked up from Office Depot. I grabbed a couple teacher-related things that I know will be very useful. Not necessary because, yeah, but they are things that will definitely come in handy. This angle is going to be a little funny. And, okay, I I haven't really worn this, like, top out. It's, a, like, a tank top, and this is one-shouldered. I think it's really cute. I have, like, a button-up over it. Um, I'm just not used to the, like any kind of like strapless top i feel like i've worn like strapless like dresses but we're gonna go like this to help me out okay i've been on the hunt for um some strong magnets that are preferably that have like little hooks on them but just to hold my calendar in my uh, teaching space i should just call it a classroom maybe i'll call it my intervention space anyways my room at school where i work where i teach yeah, I hang my calendar up on our, on my whiteboard and it's magnetic. The magnets I bought for it last year were just not strong enough. So I had to put on like five to hold it up. But I went in the office depot and they had these up really strong where they claimed, I looked them up online too. The reviews were good. They're these large, I grabbed these, this type and then this type just to hold up my calendar because it just works best on the whiteboard. That's just the best spot to hang it. Um, I reference it every day um, for myself, and then I really, it's a really helpful tool for my students just to be, um, just to work on their calendar skills, as well as counting. So it was a big deal to me to have these magnets that um, will be strong enough to hold it up. Um, I'll put them to the test in a few weeks when I'm back in the building. And then again with that, this magnetic tape, I use this to also um, post, I post my daily schedule. Maybe I'll show it to you guys. I don't know how interested you are in seeing my teaching content. I created Katie Vision to just share about 
all my passions aside from teaching. I never intended for this channel to be about teaching, but maybe if you're interested, I could tie in some more things. I know I've always shared, in the past I've shared like prepping for the school year, like my must-haves, like I my sharing my like lesson book and all some of my favorites. So maybe I'll do something like that, but I don't think that I will ever make this into like a teaching channel just to be upfront about that. Um, but yeah, so I use this again for my whiteboard, hanging up my schedule. The last thing I grabbed, again, not necessarily, but I am a pen connoisseur and my job entails so much data collection, um, taking notes, observations. I'm in so many meetings, whether I'm facilitating or just part of meetings, sign so many things. Just my job consists as of a ton of writing documentation. I'm always writing things, so it's really important, I would say, and that I've learned in my preference, it is important to have a good, reliable pen with good ink. So I can confidently say that these are like a, the top pen for me so far. This is by Sharpie. It's the gel uh, medium 0.7 millimeter ink has the comfort grip no smear no bleed technology always vivid writing and I can say for sure that these are, are or these stand by that I've been right using them for my personal use and I'm gonna carry them over to my classroom or my work I already use this pen on a regular basis and I can just like not scrap all my other pens but I know I'm gonna be reaching for these and I noticed they had them in this beautiful, like, periwinkle, maybe? This just, like, blue color. Oh, just stunning. And it's the same black ink. They had it in blue ink. And my job, we can write in black or blue ink. But I just go with black ink. I just think it looks the best. I use it the most. Um, so I went ahead and just grabbed a pack. These are going to be great for this upcoming school year. I'm going to use them every single day. That was it from Office Depot. I'm going to hit the road and get home. And then the rest of the day, I think I'll be working out. Okay, I'm sweltering. I need to turn up this AC focus on the road. And I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, before continuing this video, you guys have to let me know. Who wore it better? Me or Andre? <gasps> okay, I meant that just to be funny. It's meant to make you laugh. Someone pointed out to me that this makes... <laughs> My top reminded them of Andre the Giant. So I think uh, he definitely rocked it better. And um, obviously I'm not wearing like a unitard. I have my leggings on instead, but I just thought that was a little funny. What I really wanted to show you is an update of our little basement area. Oh my gosh. Uh, we put in new floors. We, as in my husband, put in our new flooring and check out the hallway with one of the new doors down here. It looks so good. Next will be, yeah, so the other doors. Doing all the white trim around. And then we have rearranged. We had our um, squat rack over here. Okay, I filmed that and then got sidetracked. So back upstairs. I'm going to be doing a workout probably in a bit. We're probably gonna walk our dog, Mr. Ash. my walk my outdoor walk now it's time to do my workout and I'm thinking we're gonna do I think like a lower body type thing yesterday I just did like a full body stretch because I just needed a little recovery and I was feeling kind of just like tight and like blah. so I'm gonna look up just like a lower body or like a leg workout and call it that good probably aim for at least like 20 minutes Thank you. 